What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WWE Network and Show, where I, Graham Chisa Matthews, break down all the original content I watch on the WWE Network, on Peacock, and the USA Network, as today we're talking Season 3, Episode 9 of Ms. and Mrs., called Ricky Balboa, which will make more sense in a second. Um, this was the, I don't want to say the penultimate episode of Season 3, because they called the Monday episodes the Season 3 finale or whatever, the season finale. It is technically the finale for now. Uh, they aired 10 episodes, and what they've done in the past is do 20 episodes per season. So I assume we're getting the back half, the next 10 episodes, like next year at some point, if not later this year. So I don't think season three is over yet, just this half of season three. So it's like the season three part one finale, so to speak. And the next episode after this has to do with Maurice getting back in the ring. So I'll review that one like tomorrow or another day this week or whatever. Uh, this one was all about them going on vacation to Big Bear, I think it was called. They talked about it in the last episode at the end of the Christmas episode. They went on vacation to Big Bear, where Miz helps Maurice train for her upcoming in-ring return at the Royal Rumble. Uh, Maurice, back of the house, Maurice and Miz talking about packing and packing heavy and whatever, and Miz discusses his packing tips. And while they're on the road to this Big Bear place, like the ski resort or whatever, Maurice mentioned she she likes the cold. She would actually move there if she if she had to or if she you know had the ability to or whatever because she grew up in Canada and she likes the cold weather. And Miz in the in the car. This was funny. On the car ride to Big Bear, he can't sing songs for the kids or play songs in the car due to copyright issues. <laughs> Here on the show, you can't you can't play the Frozen soundtrack on on the show or sing the songs. So Miz had to make up songs to sing for the kid, which was great. Uh, Maurice didn't think an in-ring return. She didn't, she didn't think it through. She says that, you know, she, she talks about here like, Oh, there's a lot I have to do and I got to get in-ring ready and I got to train and whatever. And it wasn't really something I thought through. I wish I had more time to get ready as opposed to like a month or three weeks or whatever it was. And she says, I think she mentions that she last wrestled in 2017. And I think they show clips of her and Miz facing Cena and Nikki from 33 mania 33, five years ago. Which is not true. Um, she actually last wrestled, if I'm not mistaken. She's been on TV since then. But I think she last wrestled in 2018. I know for a fact she wrestled in 2018. It was her and Miz against Brie Bella and Daniel Bryan at the 2018 Hell in the Cell pay-per-view. And they won. So it was a year difference. But still, the point still stands. It's been it, The point still stands. It's been a, a while since she last wrestled. So anyway, they arrive to the house at Big Bear and they take a tour of the house and Maurice talks about why she would want to move there and they check out the bathtub and all this other stuff. They and the kids do activities together, but then when they put the kids to bed, Miz goes up to Maurice and says, we got to start training. We got to get you ready for the rumble. And they related to Rocky. Maurice thought it was called Ricky. She, she thought it was, I think she called Adrian something else. She mispronounced Adrian's name. I think she called him Ricky Balboa. And Miz makes the joke that she watched Rocky in French. I mean, more than what I could say about the movie. I mean, this is going to get me killed. But I've actually never seen Rocky through. I don't think I've ever even seen a scene from Rocky. I know what Rocky is, obviously. I've never seen a single Rocky movie, which I have to change that, obviously. But Maurice knows more than me. She just mispronounces his name and calls him Ricky. So that's why the episode is called Ricky Balboa. Anyway, Maurice doesn't want to train. She gets lazy and Miz is trying to hype her up and she's just not buying it. They go sledding with the kids. And the kids, I guess, have never been sledding before their first time. I think seeing snow, because they've lived in Texas and California their whole lives. The kids, that is. And Monroe gets really, like, brave. You know, doing the sledding thing, going up the hill by herself, going down. And she crashes into a tree. And even despite that, not too bad. But, you know, she still falls over. Despite that, she goes back up to the top of the hill and does it again. And that inspires Maurice to keep training and to stay diligent and whatever. And to not get scared. And if a kid can do it, then she can do it. So after that, Maurice starts training and Miz jumps into a, uh, an ice cold water a pool or whatever, the, the, the lake or something. Why? I don't know. I forgot what he called it. It's called the polar plunge. I think he walks in, he jumps in with no clothes. Thankfully he has boxers on or whatever, nothing else on beyond that. That was really dumb, but he does it to get Maurice motivated and hyped and fired up for her in-ring return. If he can do that and Monroe can crash into a tree while sledding, then Maurice can do anything. So she starts training, they do a mock, a Rocky montage, and she gets into shape and whatever, and she does great. And then to close out the episodes, to close out this episode anyway, they, they make s'mores. And I think it was the kid's first time making s'mores, maybe, I think they mentioned, to close out the trip at Big Bear, so I thought that was cute. An enjoyable episode, not much to it, kind of the setup episode for next week, or rather the next episode, because it aired last night as well, or aired on Monday after Raw, rather. 
the uh, Season 3, Episode 10 finale for now, featuring the in-ring return of Maurice at the Royal Rumble alongside Miz against Edge and Beth Phoenix. So that's worth looking forward to. I have actually yet to watch it. I only watched Episode 9 last night after Raw. I didn't have the time to watch Episode 10, but that review will be up either tomorrow or at some point later this week. It's going to be a very busy week as far as content goes, a lot of interviews, Q&A videos, um, network and chill, you know, WrestleRant radio excerpts, live reactions, and stuff like that. So keep it posted here to the channel. Never miss an episode by subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell button to be notified every time a new video goes up. Have a great one, guys. I'm Graham G.S. Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.